hometown team Did they ever win? Oh, Wisconsin Hey, what is up you guys? I am here with a very special vlog because I am back in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, which is where I studied when I done study abroad back in 2019. And I honestly never thought I would ever have a reason to come back here. But one of my friends from study abroad still stays here. She's in her last year now. And I thought, you know, I want to see her anyway. And it would be so fun to just like have a very nostalgic trip. Travel down memory lane and see all the old spots and stuff from when I studied here, like where I used to go and everything. Like I think it'll be really fun and I've already been here for like half a day and um, we went to like a supermarket and stuff earlier and just got some food for me. Oh my god, I have been spending so much money on food as you can imagine probably and I just spent $37 on food for three days. That's like amazing to me. Like, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. So that's good. And then tonight we're going out for drinks and stuff, but right now I'm just going to go walk around. Of course, um, it's raining today because it just had to be raining. But tomorrow and Monday are meant to be really, well not really good weather, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be raining. And I am going to go on Monday to the campus and just like explore, walk around again, just nostalgia. So that'd be really fun. And yeah, it'll be a really nice um, little change. Obviously, I'm staying with a friend, which is really good. I love I love not being in hostels, to be honest. Like, hostels are okay. I don't mind hostels, but it's nice to get away from them. So, yeah, basically, this is going to be a really nice few days, just, like, relaxing, catching up with a friend, eating cheap food that I can make at home, and visiting old spots. So, I will obviously take you along with me, and I hope you enjoy. Right now, I'm just going to go walk through, like, the downtown type of area, and I don't have any end goal in mind. We'll just walk around, listen to an audiobook probably, and chill. Ever think about me? Am I just another girl who came in when? Oh, Wisconsin, I'm doing great. The traffic's pretty bright, but I still love it in LA. Oh, Wisconsin, I bet they say I've changed. One of my favourite Instagram pictures I've ever taken myself was here in front of this theatre at night with the lights all on. And I'm wearing this like brown old vintage jacket and I just love it. It's actually one of my favourite pictures of myself ever. Okay, I get that it's kind of raining and it's not that warm, but this place is like a ghost town. Like, other than cars, there's like nobody out in the streets at all. I don't even know if everything's open, but I mean, it's a Saturday, like, it's a Saturday afternoon and I'm like, Nobody's around. It's very strange. But you and I both know I'm still the same. Oh, Wisconsin, what's new? Are you still at church by 8 a.m. and in the bar by noon? Oh, Wisconsin, I heard you moving on. And yeah, that's fair. I guess that I am. Just a few states over At Christmas I'll be back Oh, Wisconsin It's really not so bad I promise that I'll call you when I can I promise I swear to God, like, everywhere is so dead Like, I'm in this coffee shop right now and there's like two other customers This place used to be so busy you can even get a table And it's a Saturday afternoon I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to ask Grana when I go back. Like, this is strange. I mean, it is like slightly raining as you can see in the videos, but still it's like not that bad. And also it's literally Saturday afternoon. Like, where are the people? Is everyone hiding? Does no one want to go out anymore? I don't know. Promise that I'll call you when I can. It's 8 million 300,000 steps. Oh, 
Hello, it is such a nicer day today. The sky is blue. Everything's so much prettier. I had such a good night last night. We ended up going to like three different bars and I feel like all the clips I took were when it was like funny rather than when it was actually good. But it was like really busy at the end. Um, and I haven't been to like a bar or a club that you can actually dance in in so long. So it really fun like to dance and stuff. I've done 4,000 steps <laughs> in the club. Um, so yeah, it was really good. And all the like, grandma friends were so nice. I didn't like not even really be with grandma, I was with her friends. So it was a really good night. Um, right now I'm just gonna go walk around again. I'll take some more clubs because yesterday all my clubs were very great. So I'll take new clubs of Eau Claire's. It's a little bit prettier today. And I'm just gonna get a coffee and just walk around again. Because um, I mean, there actually isn't that much to do here, it's a very small town. But... Oh, it's gone to now you've been. Oh, tell me how's our hometown team and did they ever win? Oh, it's gone to do you ever think about me? Am I just another girl? The amount of American flags around here is so crazy. Like every single building and lamppost and like just excuse my hair. Just everything has like an American flag on it and it's so funny to me like how patriotic this place is. It is so windy. Oh my god. Some of the houses here are so cool, like this one right here. I just love like the vibes. Also, Eau Claire really reminds me, and just the Midwest in general, like whenever I'm in the Midwest, um, I say like I'm here all the time, it just reminds me so much of Haddonsfield from the Halloween franchise because that is like the epitome of the Midwest to me. It's just Laurie Strode <laughs> running down that street from Michael Myers and I don't know, just like the energy here, especially obviously because it's fall and like the trees are all dead, there's leaves all over the ground. Um, like, it just reminds me of Halloween so much. That's like, just, I don't know. I'm just walking around feeling like I'm in a horror movie. Like, does it not just feel like Michael Myers could be standing behind that tree or like behind one of these fences or that bush if it was more full? It just fits the vibe of those movies so much. Also, a final note on that, the fact that there's like never anyone around on the streets because nobody walks anywhere, that also adds to it because I'm like the only person walking around <laughs> These streets just mind my business, waiting on Michael Myers to pop out and kill me. Um, oh my god, okay, there's another really nice house. Like, look at that tower thing up there, like those windows. That is so stunning. That's like a little Disney house. Another very cool house. I love the ones with the towers, like, that is just so magical to me. This bar here, the pickle, is like infamous, and Eau Claire is like the trashy bar. And the fact it's called the pickle, like, says all. And I only actually went there one time and like the whole four months I was here. Like everyone talks about it all the time, everyone's like obsessed with the pickle. But me and my friends just never actually went until it was like our second last night. Um, we were finally like, okay, we should probably actually go to the pickle. And we were only there for like an hour, but it was kind of cute. This shop here sells like really cheap, like university merchandise. And I'm gonna get a t-shirt, but for so it's a Sunday. So I'll probably have to come back tomorrow. But yeah, this is Water Street. This is like the street of all the bars and stuff that I was on last night. We were like in there. And then we were like in somewhere out here. I don't really know. I also don't even know if you can hear me on any of this clip because it is so windy. But I'm just gonna assume you can. <laughs> yeah, this bar that I'm about to show you, Shenanigans, is where we were last night that there was like a big dance floor. And honestly, it was so fun. It was like the most fun I've had. Sit here. They had something called a leprechaun shot, but they could not spell the word leprechaun. It was like leper, like the disease, and then like con. I couldn't tell if they'd done it on purpose to be funny or if they just didn't know how to spell leprechaun, and I feel like they probably didn't know how to spell leprechaun. But yeah, this is like the infamous street. I feel like Eau Claire has like downtown street, <laughs> which is like one street, and then like this is Water Street, which is like a student street, and like that's the whole city. Um, like 
I mean, it's so weird that it's a city because it just has such like small town energy. But there is like a whole wider like suburb area that obviously like we had no reason to go through. I was it. That's kind of a cool statue. I do like kind of clear. It's almost lost of art in the streets. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, I am obsessed with this. This was not here last time. I love that. Okay y'all, it is my last full date in Eau Claire and right now we are going to the campus. So that will be very iconic, very nostalgic. I'm going to meet another friend for lunch that um, I wasn't really that close with her when I was here before but you know I still know her, she's really nice and she's still here so I was like you know mate, what? Might as well meet for lunch, um, so it'll be really good. And yeah this is so strange walking across this bridge. This bridge is like the main entrance I guess you would say. And like up there, that's where I used to stay, up that hill. It's like iconic. It's just literally called like the hill and everyone knows what that is. This, this is actually very strange, very surreal. This building here always scared me. There's something so imposing about it, like the fact there's no windows. Honestly, kind of, it's scary. It looks very dystopian. I don't know why just that one building is like that because none of the other ones look like that. <laughs> like even the brick is different, but yeah, I don't know if I ever... I must have been in that. I feel like I must have been in everywhere at some point. Like this, the only time I was in this building was for like a fair type thing to promote all the different like groups and stuff on campus, like sports teams and things. Here is the iconic Welcome Gate, University of Wisconsin Eau Claire. There's people, um, someone asking questions, and I'm just walking around my earphones and like, please don't ask me, please don't ask me. Because I did not know the answer. She's asking about some basic basketball game or something. So, anyway, yes, there's the gates. Very cute. I'm actually going to take you to upper campus now and I'll show you like, where I stayed. Once again, they just love American flags here. There used to be more accommodation here. Like, my friend, Una, I think Angela, also stayed here. And it's just completely not done now. My home is still there, though. That's where we're going. We have to go up the hill. The river is really beautiful. We have started our descent. No, descent is done. I don't know what the up version of descent is. So now we have two choices. We can either climb this massive staircase or continue with the hill and take a smaller staircase. I'm going to take the big staircase just because I remember doing that on my very first day here and actually wanting to die at the thought that I was going to have to do it basically every single day. <laughs> yes, the hill. It's, it is a hill. It is indeed a hill. <sighs> We're halfway there. But yeah, the hill goes all the way up under there. But then there's other stairs like there. <sighs> we have made it. Whew. See, like, it actually is really high up. So this is where I used to stay, Horan Hall. This window right here was mine. I had like the worst room. I was right at the very front doors. So I heard like every single person coming in and out. Yes, okay, I mean, yeah, there. If you are a long time subscriber, you'll remember I used to film videos, I think, on the floor in there. And I never used to really show anything about like the university when I was here because I'm quite paranoid about safety and things like that but this is fun to be able to just go back and have a little trip down memory lane it's so strange during winter like proper winter once it starts snowing all of us is just snow piled like a hundred feet high that's what it feels like anyway in Garana I'm saying I used to stay in that building straight across so I used to run out that door and sprint as fast as I can to hers because it is so cold like even right now like it's not snowing, but it's getting pretty freezing already. And the one good thing about staying right here, like obviously the hill is hard, but that is where you go for lunch. So I used to just run out the door and rush it in there. Or dinner actually, like any meal. That was like the big, um, it's called the calf. It's just literally the cafeteria. And everyone slated the food. I honestly kind of liked it because it was like an unlimited buffet. Like you could just eat as much as you wanted. And I mean, Y'all know me, I do like to eat. So I used to get like, <laughs> every day for dinner, I'd get like a little pasta and then I'd go back and get like a burger and fries and I'd go back and get um, like 
some rice with like some vegetables and then I would have lots of desserts and then like I come back to my room and then later on that night like an hour before it closed I'd like go back again and get like tacos or something like that and like cereal and honestly I was just loving my best life I was eating so much food um so yeah I have a soft spot for the cafe even though it stinks so badly it is disgusting the smell because once you finish your plates you just put it in this thing that like rotates but like they let the plates pile up so high and oh my god it was gross Well, that's new. Back in our first week, they set up like a big outdoor projection thing here and we all watched Aladdin, like the remake. And it was so cute. Like, I think this is definitely the nicest part of the campus. It's just very green, even without the trees. I used to get sushi and Mountain Dew every single day, so of course I had to get it again. It's a little throwback meal. Sadly, that shop was not open. That's so sad. I actually really wanted like a nice t-shirt. It has some like on campus, but the campus ones are like official ones, so more expensive. Whereas that's like fake, <laughs> fake knockoff versions of like university merch. Um, but oh well. And honestly, I could go back to campus to the shop there, but I don't really want to walk all the way back. I just walk all the way back here again. It's a lot, so I'll survive. Also, it was so nice to see Avanita again. Like, we were never really that close when I was here. She was, like, friends with my friend Molly, so we knew each other, and, like, we talked to stuff, and we have a couple pictures, but we never, like, just hung out one-on-one, -on -one. and I wish we had now, because I was so nice to just see her and talk, and she is planning on getting into modeling and acting, which, like, she is stunning. She definitely could do it. It's very tough. I mean, it's, like, the toughest industry in the world, probably, to get into, but fingers crossed for her, guys. Positive vibes out. Now I'm just gonna go walk around again, get a little coffee and relax and then tonight me and Verona are going to go for a little drink and then tomorrow I need to go up like 5am so that's going to be hard but it will be worth it because tomorrow I'm going to New Orleans or New Orleans it's good to go have to do like the local say it but yeah I'm excited for it but I'm not excited for getting up at 5am I forgot that this was like a common thing here but like my actual forehead it's so frozen cold that it's actually sore. It's like a brain freeze, but now it's safe. Anyway, I'm not done from cafe, this is good thing. It's cute. It's a lot of cafe. To no one you were listening. Oh, Wisconsin, you were always listening.